Dancers, are you competing at your regional soon? Your qualifier for the World Irish Dance Championships? Then you might want to watch this video. The first tip I have is to make use of this fantastic tool and do not take it for granted. And that is breathing methods. Two of my favorite breathing methods are the Wim Hof breathing method and alternate breathing. Google or YouTube, both of them. Try these the night before you dance, the morning that you dance, and use the alternate breathing method side stage. On the day of a competition, does your tummy feel sick and nauseous? Are your palms sweaty? Does your body stiffen up? This is your nervous system. The response that it is having to the thoughts and the feelings that you have, the good news is, is that you can calm it down by using tools such as breathing methods. Please, please, please try it. The next time that your tummy feels sick or you can feel your body stiffening up, which isn't good when you want to dance, use one of these breathing methods to just get yourself back into your body. And I promise you, it's going to help so much. My next tip is to normalize those feelings. We know that they're going to come. And it's a good sign. It means that you care. You know you've worked so, so hard and you want to put your best self on stage. So kind of like say, oh, hi, sick tummy. I knew you were going to come. Hi, sweaty pams. I knew you were going to be here. We know what our body does in response to nerves and that feeling that competition day brings. So just say, it's normal. It's going to happen. What can I do to help make sure those feelings and those responses do not affect my dancing? Number one, we've just said breathing methods, maybe journaling, and also taking numerous, many, many actions that day to make you feel so, so comfortable. But if your stomach does feel sick, or if you don't feel your best, just know that that's very, very normal, and everyone around you is probably experiencing the same thing. Number three, trust yourself. It is a fact that you know what you're doing. You have been practicing for weeks, months for this moment. And it is a fact that you know exactly what you have to do on stage. So say to yourself, I know what I am doing. Like you do 100%, you know exactly what you have to do. If you simplify it like that, it will give you confidence. You will know that you just have to go on stage and do what you know that you can do and come off and say, I done exactly what I was supposed to do. So trust yourself and keep repeating to yourself, I know what I am doing. Nobody knows better than you what you need to do. And all you have to do is get up there and do it. Number four, make use of journaling and visualization. Take out a book or a page, write down, why am I nervous? Make a list of those things. You will see how silly they are or how simple they are to fix. Then write down your superpowers as a dancer, your strengths, what you want to definitely put on stage. And the next thing, make a list of everything that you have to remember, that your teacher wants you to remember, that you want to remember when you're on stage. Making a list can help make the list in your brain and allow you to definitely do it on stage. And my last piece of advice is try to not dance for results. You will regret it. Dance for you and the joy dancing brings you. Get up on stage and put on a show. We all dream of dancing on stages all around the world. A competition stage is no different. Take this opportunity to get up and perform for yourself, for your teachers, for your family, for your friends. When you come off stage or later that night, you will think to yourself, I am so, so glad I got up and had fun rather than I'm so sad that my nerves ruined this moment for me. Dance for you and only you and dance to put the best possible performance you can do on stage. And remember, you know what you are doing. Keep telling yourself, I know what I can do.